it doesn't auto rotate? I thought it auto rotated too, but then I wouldn't know how it did that. Oh. I got a package from Primetime Toys! And it included this uh, amalgamation of pistols. Which is interesting, because this is the Commando Iconic 4 Turbo Blasters featuring the Sure Shot series Super Darts. Oh, that's a tough one. And uh, when I saw this, I originally didn't know what to think, because like obviously like the little targets and things aren't usually anything that I care about, although Dart Zone has the Dart Zone darts, which are like the best darts you could possibly get. They even sell them in containers like this. They're 10 bucks for this nice pack of 200 darts, I mean. I, even in high velocity, these things are awesome, so maybe in a sealed breach, I haven't really tested them that well, maybe they don't work, but for everything I've used them for in flywheelers, these are the best darts, and they're stupid cheap and readily available, so hey, how about that one? That's something I've legitimately known for the last while, because uh, that's the only darts I ever tend to really use for pretty much anything on this channel anymore, unless it's something that doesn't shoot darts, but anyway, these are, uh, <laughs> when I first saw this, I was like, okay, what the heck is this? This looks like dumb, why would I want... And then I realized this is probably going to be a really, really useful blaster for a very specific kind of mod. So we'll get to that. And then we've got these what look to be larger blitz fires that uh, have the kind of flipping drum mechanism thing that uh, every pistol seems to do now. Although this seems significantly more holsterable. Maybe. And some stacking targets and what looks to be a target back there. We can flip the box over here and... Uh, Contains a flip-up sight, again, kind of similar to basically just a Blitzfire, and the Compact Power Blasters pull back and push forward to blast. There is no trigger, and you might be screeing at that, but I happen to think, again, this has a really good use. And, yeah, pretty much that's all. It's got, like, a round target and turbo advanced swim light. I honestly am just trying to fill up for time, because I don't know the price of the set right here. So, I'm sorry. Uh, hopefully it's not too expensive, but I'll just evaluate them, and if they are in your price range and good enough for you, then, hey, I would pick one up. Especially since I don't know if any of these blasters are sold separately right now. This was literally just sent to me by Primetime Toys. So I'm going to open it up and we're going to explore these blasters together. And I guess the targets. I do have to take a look at the targets, huh? Oh, only needed to do that. Let's get some of the targets out. Oh, there's... Aha! Somewhat easier to get out once I've removed a couple of the blaster. Aha, there we go. I do like it when this extra stuff comes in a little separate package, makes it easy to remove. Hasbro, take note. So we're going to start off with what I think is the least interesting blaster, and even then, it's probably a pretty good one, because this is a slide-based, well, revolver. Not sure why we keep having that happen, but a slide-based revolver that has that kind of a flippy barrel mechanism in it, which uh, a lot of blasters are doing now, which is moderately interesting. And it were, ooh, yeah, these don't have any kind of air restrictor in them. It's basically a bigger, beefier blitz fire by the looks of it, but I will run it over the chronograph to see exactly what we're working with here. Now, right off the bat, how do I engage this uh, flippy mechanism? I'm guessing I just push it. Yeah, it looks like it just works by pushing it. Uh, I mean, maybe not what I've done, but it makes it easier for some people. Yep, it just clips into place. I mean, if it's not going to automatically rotate like the uh, Flip Fury, what exactly is the point? So, not bad. Uh, there's a decent amount of room here to access the barrels. Uh, these ones you're going to have to kind of bend a little bit, which is a little frustrating. Well, only four of the slots... But these ones, like, I can't wedge them in there, I can't wedge it in, I, I can barely wedge it on the side. That might be a little bit of a downer for this blaster. Now, again, bottom barrel spins completely freely, and the barrels are extremely tight. I basically just mangled that dart trying to shove it in there. And they don't go all the way in. Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Not, not feeling this one that much at all. Very tight barrels, and I assume it will be an absolute powerhouse. Oh, yes, yes. Uh, I will put that over the chronograph for my final demonstration, but uh, 
Very powerful for what it is. Uh, still semi-holsterable. Doesn't really look that good, in my opinion. I like the color scheme, but I don't like... Especially these, this, like, kind of ballish shape back here. Doesn't feel good in the hand. I don't know. I, I'm not I'm not feeling this one, unfortunately. There's nothing inherently wrong with it, and somebody else will probably like it, but it's not really doing it for me, although I have a feeling this thing would be a monster if uh, modified correctly. And then we've got this thing, which is... Uh, <laughs> is hilarious in and of itself. This is, this is definitely different. So, if I put this in here... Well, that's as far back as the darts will go, so... Oh, I hate it when darts stick out like that, but I guess it, they're trying to make this as compact as possible. The problem is that it, like, bends the darts. Oh, it's just straight-up slam fire. It said you had to pull it back and then push it forward, but it is, uh... It doesn't auto-rotate? I thought it auto-rotated, too, but then I wouldn't know how it did that. Oh. So, darn it. What I, I thought, because it said rotating barrel, I thought this thing would automatically rotate. And it doesn't. I, I didn't know how it would, but it doesn't. It does have a really definite clicky turn, which is good, but... My idea for this was that it would be really good as an underbarrel. Especially if it would automatically rotate, because then it would just be probably the most compact, most powerful underbarrel blaster you could probably get. And since it's essentially slam fire, it uh, would work really good for that, because you could just rattle off four shots and have a reasonable amount of power to it. And, I mean, it is powerful for what it is, but that not rotating... Yeah, that that kind of puts a damper on things. At least it is really, really nice to turn. I'm sure this will do it for somebody. Uh, not really exactly my thing. I'm not much of a fan of targets, but hey, they react rather violently. You can tell these things have a lot of power behind them, but... Yeah, I'm uh, I'm not feeling it. Maybe there's something I'm missing. I like the design of it too. It's like because obviously that grip is not doing any copyright 2017. So these have been around for a while, and I've just never seen them before. I, I mean, this is honestly like the, the it has a beaver tail right here, so it doesn't actually hit your hand. Like it's really hard for me to hate this thing, but it's harder for me to like it. I'm gonna put these over to the chronograph and give you my final conclusions. Well, this is another one of those, uh, it's pretty good. Uh, honestly, the most shocking thing is that this is relatively comfortable and works relatively well. It hits almost 70 FPS with most of its shots, kind of low to high 60s, which is good for something this small and carries four shots. But that, even though that is like one of the best feeling mechanisms I have felt in a blaster like this, the fact it doesn't automatically turn Oh, if only it automatically turned. I don't know how they would have done it, but that would have been so much better. So, while it is perfectly serviceable, pulling that back, pushing that forward, and turning that over and over, like, it works, but that is, like, the slowest firing blast. I guess it's faster than a jolt, and it performs better than a jolt, but uh, at least it's comfortable, uh, in all honesty. At least it's really, really comfortable, even with my fat hands. I'm not having any issue with this grabbing skin and hurting me. So, surprising, surprising. The, uh, this thing, again, I don't even know what these blasters are called. Again, kind of higher 60s, low 70s, which is about what I would expect. Seems slightly under the blitz fire now that I think about it. But, yeah, it's, uh, it works. I mean, it's still pretty big. The drum on the bottom is exposed. The darts don't go in all the way, which is kind of a downer for me. And overall, it just doesn't feel... Uh, doesn't really feel that good in the hand, to be perfectly honest. This right here is not very comfortable. The slide is very comfortable, I might add. And hey, it's powerful enough. And if the price is right, these blasters will offer you something. But some of my favorite blasters last year were done by Primetime Toys. And these just feel like, yeah, they're okay. They're not terrible by any means. But uh, I'm not really seeing a point for them. I was... 
<sighs> I still really want to use this for like an underbarrel thing, but there's really not much of a point when that's all I'm going to get out of it. <sighs> little heartbroken on that one, but let me know what you think about the Commando Iconic 4-pack from the Dart Zone line down in the comment section below. If you actually really dig the look of these blasters, if you have them yourselves or you've seen them, they should be available at Target, because Dart Zone is an exclusive to Target, but I'm, uh... Yeah, I'm not sure if I would pick them up personally myself, even though there's technically nothing wrong with them. I mean, they work really well. I like this blaster. I, I will say that, for whatever reason, I like this blaster. Maybe it's just that satisfying click. I might keep this one around and use it for something. I'm not sure. This one, uh, I'm not really feeling, to be perfectly honest. I'd rather have a Blitzfire. This has been Walcom S7. Thank you very much for watching this video, and of course, I hope to see you in an entirely different one. Uh, I, I guess the targets are okay, too. They're just pieces of plastic. You gotta up, up, up.